So now this video is focused on the passive buzzer. Now it's a passive because it doesn't do anything on its own. You need to give it a, a steady stream of a high and low on off uh, pulses. And uh, so we're gonna come back to the 555 timer wired in a stable mode right there. I have a 220 ohm resistor and then a light dependent resistor that uh, charges a capacitor. Once it gets to two thirds of the supply voltage, it uh, discharges through the light dependent resistor to uh, pin seven, which goes to ground. So while the capacitor is charging, the output's high. While it's discharging, the output's low. So the uh, amount of current flowing, which is primarily set by the light dependent resistor, will determine how fast that goes. And uh, so we covered that in earlier videos. I'm not gonna go over that too much, but uh, I'll show when I put uh, the flashlight on there, there you can see it flashing faster. So, now, as I said before, we're focused on the uh, passive buzzer. So what I'm gonna do is at the output, pin number three of the 555 timer right there, that's powering the LED. I also have this white jumper that comes there and then a gray jumper that goes to uh, ground. And uh, the passive buzzer is polarized. You can see a little plus right there and uh, so you don't use alternating current with this and you can see circuitry back there and uh, so I find with the uh, passive buzzers you can see the circuitry and with the active you cannot so the plus we're putting there the minus we are putting there and uh, so it looks like uh, it's doing uh, pretty well right now I had that other capacitor we will uh, test something out just in case we had uh, stability problems. So if we have stability problems, we can take a uh, capacitor. I'm gonna take a 1000 microfarad. This one's also 1000 microfarad. And you can put it directly to the power rails and that will help the 555 timer hold its voltage if need be, right there. So, in any case, I don't think we had a problem, but if you do, that's uh, one solution. If it's not working right, maybe you need a capacitor there. So, as I said before, this is a 1000 microfarad capacitor right there. We can go 10 times as fast with this uh, particular setup with a 100 microfarad, and there should be the Greek letter mu f right there. They kind of cut it off, but that is uh, 100 microfarad. So, we will uh, replace it. And I was uh, kind of shading it, so it was going slow at first. But there you can see it's going faster. And again, it's clicking because it's going slow. And we got a faster click. Plus, I left the light on there, the LED on there, so you can see when it's going high and low. So now, let's say we don't want clicks. I'm going to take a, a 0.1 microfarad, so 100 nanofarad nanofarad is one billionth of a farad. And there you can hear an annoying buzz. I'm gonna turn the uh, power off quick while I uh, get the uh, flashlight ready. Okay, turning the power back on. And so it is buzzing like that. And uh, if you want to uh, look at the uh, power supply while we're doing this, you can see I bumped it up to uh, 300 milliamps of current because it, it bounces around quite a bit. So let's go uh, to 100 milliamps of current and see how that goes. So that's still doing good, but I think with the uh, 1000 microfarad it wasn't doing so well. So in any case, these are all just small modifications. We already covered the uh, 555 timer and the uh, A-stable mode before, but yeah, there you can see that we're getting the constant current on there. So it's asking for more current than we set on there, and it messes up the uh, 555 timer. So we will uh, raise it, and when it says CC constant current, that means we hit the limit. So a brief period of time, the circuit demanded more than 100 uh, milliamps, 0.1 amps, and uh, we set it so it would not uh, provide that. Uh, so it stopped where we set it 100 uh, milliamps so in any case that's it for this video check out 
one of the other videos that I'm posting, make sure you click like, subscribe, the bell, all that good stuff. I will see you in the next video.